In Retail Player, you have now the possibility to set up Store and Play channels. But what is exactly Store and Play? Let's unveil it to you in this quick video. Some background before going into the details. Store and Play is a function that allows your Retail Player devices connecting with your file server, fetching the music tracks, storing them locally and playing them out. Compared to streaming, Store and Play is much more network resilient. You just need a network connection while fetching the content. Then the device plays it even in case of a network disconnection. How to configure Store and Play? Everything starts with the preparation of the music content. This, of course, might differ for each case. For the scope of this video, I'm using a cloud file server provider called files.com, but the same concept is valid if you have your own server hosting files in your network setup. The organization of my playlist follows a folder hierarchy, which means for every folder I have music tracks plus an M3U file, which is a simple text file containing the titles of the tracks that the player will download and play following the order exposed in the file itself, from top to bottom. An example of an M3U is shown on screen. When using files.com as a service provider, the URL that I have to point to is given by files.com, and I can find it in the sharing settings of the folder that I want to share or the parent folder in case I need to share multiple folders easily. The URL that we will use in the retail player must point to the individual M3U file, as we will have as many store and play channels for each playlist that we want to configure. Just a small comment about this platform I'm using for the video. If you are not skilled around setting up your own virtual server on the cloud, I strongly suggest you to use files.com. It's easy to use and to set up, and it offers many nice integrations with other famous platforms such as Google Drive, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and many others. Going back to the retail player. Now that we have prepared the content and we have the URL pointing at our M3U file, we can go ahead and configure the store and play instance on the portal. The first thing is to identify the channel section and in here we are going to add a new channel. Select the organization, give the channel a name. Here is where you must configure the type of channel between stream or store and play. We select store and play and click on next. Now it's time to configure the store and play details. The first field is the URL. This is the URL of our M3U file that we configured before in the file server. The transport protocols supported by our retail player devices are HTTP, HTTPS or FTP. In my example, we are using HTTPS. Shuffle playback allows you to not follow the order specified in the M3U file. Instead, it shuffles songs from the playlist. The content update interval allows you to specify how often a retail player should check the file server for any change in the playlist. So, in case we know that we modify the playlist once a week, we can set the update interval to be once every seven days. Last, we can set up the authentication. If our file server requires, here is where we add the username and password to validate the connection. Now that all the channels for each playlist have been created, you can group them into a channel list and assign them to the retail player devices. The moment you do this, the retail player will get the configuration of the store and play channels and will start to download the content in the local memory. You can keep track of the progress in the status tab of the device, where it is even possible to check the amount of space occupied by each playlist along with all the tracks already stored in the device. In the general status tab is instead available the information about the overall space uh, available on the device. Once at least one track of a store and play channel is downloaded, it's possible to start its playback. 
and the playback starts as soon as you select the channel on the control page. In a scenario with multiple store and play channels, it could be interesting to program the playout of the channels on a weekly scheduler. Use the channel scheduler for this purpose. You can find it on each device under Automation. Once configured, it's even possible to copy the same scheduler on multiple devices running in the same channel list. This is all you have to know about Store and Play. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos and don't hesitate to get in touch for any request you may have. Consult us, support at barracks.com. Thank you.